look at you spinning that thing. I'll get, should we do like hidden? Oh, we're, I'm going to start the video right here. Should we do that? Welcome back to Move It Fix Monday. I'm here with Mike Service. And in this video, <laughs> you're having too much fun with we're in a twirl. my broom. That's actually my broomstick that Actual I broomstick. clean up Alana's chalk with. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to talk about in this video is the early arm bend yes. in the Olympic lifts. Yeah, specifically the snatch. We'll kind so of this happens more in the, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll cover it in the snatch. <laughs> okay, we'll cover, we'll cover it for the snatch. And maybe like kind of a misunderstanding of why mm -hmm. in some cases for some people it's happening. Yeah, yeah, so the, like the I'm common, there. Yeah, yeah, the take com it from common thing we would say is like a, in the weightlifting community or coaches, you'll get yelled at as an athlete, you're bending your arms too early. Like you need to, you need to keep your arms straight longer so you can extend with you know the most efficiency and get the most power. Um, and what Ryan he came to our, our clinic um, this past weekend, um, Power Monkeys Clinic at CrossFit Belltown. And one of the things I was telling the participants there was um, the early arm bend can be fixed a lot of times just with how you stand and support the barbell, whether it be from the hang position or from the floor position. So a lot of times, one of the first things we do when we get set with the bar or a coach will cue you to do is pull your shoulders back and get tight, all right? So it might not be as noticeable from the front, but if I go from the side and I set up and then I pinch my shoulder blades back, where does the barbell go? It goes away from my body. So my only option here now to get the bar back close to my body is pull. So if that's happening in my pool, all of a sudden now I have this early arm bend that might work temporarily or might work at a very elite level for a specific weightlifter. But in terms of repeated movements over time and over time and over time with efficiency, that's going to catch up to you. It's either going to cause some overuse injuries or some really, really um, big holes in like your cycling and your um, movement of a lot of reps at lower weight, which is more, you know, CrossFit centered and oriented. Yeah. So I want to take this a step further too. Okay. So like, <clears throat> let's say an athlete's doing this, mm -hmm. they're pulling their shoulder blades back too much. That brings the arms here. They have to bend. Mm -hmm. And then the coach or they're cued to don't bend your arms right. yet. Right. Yeah. What does that end up make, like how does that change the bar path and then what does that look like in terms of how the athlete attempts to catch that weight? So yeah, so now we kind of, and we've, we've done some you know, past videos and we're going to keep doing more to talk more about the little like nuances of technique, but now all of a sudden, so you're that athlete that pulls the bar back, so it's away. You've been bending your arms to get it close to your body. Your coach says, no, keep your arms straight longer. Now the bar's away, so when you extend, you have to whip back to try and get the bar where it needed to be then your compensation is, oh crap, I need to whip through and all of a sudden you're the guy that catches like this. That reminds me of that wrist and lock yep, video. Now my shoulders hurt because I'm catching like this all the time or I'm always recovering forward and chasing lifts forward, missing lifts forward, throwing them behind. So just again, something as simple as how you set your body up to initiate a movement has a huge result on how you're catching or finishing your lifts later on. Yeah, so someone could be like, oh, I always catch with the bar in this direction or that direction. Mm -hmm. I have to like try not to do that. Yeah. But if you really peel it back, it yeah. has to do with, you know, the way they're setting their shoulder blades mm -hmm. is messing up the first, second pulls, mm -hmm. and that just throws everything off. Yeah. So it, com it comes down to just understanding how you should be set up with the barbell. This is something that, like, um, when I'm when I'm coaching, I come down to how do you? It's your support strength and your foundational awareness. So just something as simple as a position, like how do you set up in that position, and then getting comfortable with that position, and, and we could go you know, way down yeah. the road with drills and exercises. For yeah, that. I'm just curious how you cue it then, right? Because like the cue is, you know, lock your shoulder blades in, yeah. right? So, so is, are there there's, some... There's, a, there's a, like this most simple cue that I can do and it's really good if somebody likes bodybuilding. Um, so I'll tell somebody to get set. I know set some people like that. And then spread their lats out. So you can actually see this really good from behind. So if I go into that like pull back position that causes some early arm bend, I end up really tight in my upper back yeah. And there's not a lot of movement that can happen from there. But if I do a nice lat spread, the bar's really tight to my body right now. My back's big and strong. And then I also have <laughs> all of this movement in my scaps and my shoulders that can help with my extension with the barbell. And if you do that when you're not snatching, that's called BLS or big lat syndrome. Big lat or syndrome. Or ILS, invisible lat syndrome. Yeah, you're going to have one of the two. But during the snatch, it's desirable. I want big lat syndrome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So <laughs> if you're looking at this early arm bend and that's something that uh, either you do or athletes that you work with do, make sure to check this mm -hmm. and check how they're positioning their shoulder blades and how are they locking in at the beginning. And, mm -hmm. Start um, with the setup and then go from there. We've got yeah. a lot more stuff we're going to keep talking about to kind of build on all this.
Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. If you guys don't already follow Mike on Instagram, check him out at Mike Service. C E R B U S. There it is. <laughs> and if you don't follow the Movement Fix, find me at the Movement Fix. We'll see you guys next see you week. Later.